Hey everybody, today I have an awesome color change to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick performance of how it's going to look and then I'll show you how it's done. So you just take a card from the deck, let's say it is the Ace of Spades. You're going to take it and just like, just like that, you can see the card fully changes to the Queen of Hearts. So that's the color change, now here's how it's done. A basic back view of this is taking the card, just like so. Here's what happens behind the fan. Just moving the two cards, just like that. And from the front view, if you hold the two cards as one, from the front view, that move looks like and behind, I'm just doing that right there. So, that's the basic move. Okay, so I just showed you what it looks like behind the fan. Um, now I'm going to show you a little bit closer of a view. Uh, what you do is you can start off with any two cards on top, say it's the Joker and Ace of Clubs, uh, or you can just shuffle the deck in front of the spectator and take any two cards that are on the top. You want to do that twist move, I'll show you really quickly how to do that. Most uh, magicians should know how to do that. Uh, you just take the top two cards in opposite corners like so, and you're going to just with your index finger turn the card like that until it stops on the finger and can go no more, and then you're going to rotate it back, straighten out, and then stick it into the deck like that. Now when you're doing this move you want to make sure you also turn your hand with the card so it makes it look like it's twirling because if you just take the card and do that it doesn't look special but if you take it and do that it looks like it looks better. Uh, so you want to stick the card in like this with a corner poking out and instead of doing the fan you can do the fan straight up like that but it sometimes makes the cards fall. So instead of doing it like that you can take the two cards put them in show them one more time flatten out the deck like so just do a normal fan like that and then lift everything up so now your spectator sees this and you're going to take the two cards in the corners you want to make sure your index finger is pointing in the direction that the corners go just like this so you want to have your index finger positioned right there and then you're going to come with your thumb and grab behind like that and so from the front this is what your spectators see and again the move is just this you're just rubbing your fingers and your thumb back and forth just like that and from the front that looks like just like that and you're just rubbing them sometimes uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting this move down but just pretend that the cards are not there and you just have your finger and thumb like this you're just rubbing them just like that uh, and that that's the basic uh, move for this color change I'm gonna show you one more cool thing that you can do with this color change um, what you're gonna need is your deck of cards and take one random card from the deck I'm choosing the seven of spades and from a different colored deck you want to choose the same duplicate card so I've got a red seven of spades and a blue seven of spades. So I'm gonna take the indifferent card, the whole deck's blue, so in this case I'm gonna take the red card, put it on top, and then I'm gonna take the blue seven of spades and put it on top of that. So you wanna force the seven of spades, obviously. Um, the way I do that is usually I'm talking to the spectator and I just give the deck a couple of cuts. As I'm cutting the deck, I just hold a pinky break, so I take one and I'm holding the pinky break right there two, three, and four. Now you've got a pinky break. Now you're ready for a riffle force. You say, look, I'm going to go down the side of the deck and you tell me when to stop. So they say stop. And what you're doing is picking up right at that break. And make sure they see the back of that blue card. Say, look, you stop me here. And then flip your wrist and say, you stop me at the seven of spades. You want to flip your wrist so you don't flash that red card. So you say, you stop me at the seven of spades and then you square it back up with the, the pack and then you put everything on top. So now you've got both seven of spades on top. Uh, you say, I'm gonna have you sign your card. You do a double lift. So they're gonna be signing the red card now. 
you do a double lift, you give them the Sharpie. If you don't want them to sign the card, that's fine, obviously, but it adds a little more power to the effect if you have them sign it. So I'm going to sign an ITTM uh, 2018, just like that. So they've signed their card. You say, I'm going to take your card, and what you're doing now is turning both, or both cards, and you just take it as a double and put it into the middle like you're going to do that color change. So you do your fan, and you show them their card one more time, their signed card. Then you're going to make the fan horizontal to the floor. And what you're doing now, instead of grabbing this corner right here, you're going to go and grab the back of that corner. So the corner you usually grab, which would be this one here with your index and thumb, you're going straight up to this corner. So your fan's horizontal to the ground, and you're just reaching your hand around. Instead of this one, it's going to be this one. So you grab everything like that, so now the card is turned over. You say, I'm going to take your seven of spades, you raise your fan up, and now you're ready to do the color change. So again, that's just this here, like that, moving it back and forth. To them, it's going to look something like, you know, the red and blue change. Just like that. Let me get set back up here again. Um, it's going to look just like that. So you want to stop on the red, so you do it one more time to where it turns red. I would only do it about two or three times to change. You don't want to do it too much or they might catch on. Uh, but you want to stop on the red, so stop on the red. And you want to clip that blue seven of spades. You stopped on the red one, you want to clip that blue seven of spades behind the fan and pull away just like that. So again, you stop on the red and you're pulling that seven of spades, keeping it back here. And then you can throw the red card up in the air as you come down and close the fan. And that blue seven of spades is going to stay on the back. So you square everything up and just drop it to your side. They're not going to think any more about that. They're mo more focused on this red card. So uh, you have the red card here and you say, look, the one card that turned red was your sign seven of spades. And you can hand that out to them. They can examine it. While they're you know looking at it, dish that seven or dish the whole deck into your pocket. Um, they're never going to really worry about that. But that's one more cool thing that you can do with this color change. You can experiment with it, make up whatever you want to do. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the color change, and I hope you use it in some of your own routines. Uh, practice it. If I had to leave you with anything today, it would be practice in front of a mirror. you got to have good angles. Uh, you know, take a camera or in front of a mirror. You don't want to obviously perform it sideways where they can see you you know you gotta kind of get eye level with them with the fan and you want to perform it face on just like that you don't want to be too far down or too far back uh, but yeah work on your angles and then perform it and work it into your own routines so yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching i really appreciate it uh, come back every single week for new magic videos and tutorials Go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Uh, if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me what I could do better in the next video. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.